striped marlin are the top incidental bycatch of the longline industry and considered overfished in North Pacific. We don't know much about them. Most of the info we have came from sport fishermen who tagged a few 20 years ago. Researchers and commercial fishermen teamed up in Hawaii and deployed over 30 PSAT tags between 2016 and 2019. The marlins were tracked for up to a year. What they found was the vast horizontal and vertical movements contradict what we thought about marlin being localized in their distribution. One made it thousands of miles to the east coast of Australia. These archival and satellite tags also showed they spend 38% of their day and 81% of their night less than 20 feet from the surface. This helps fisheries managers with stock assessment and possible time area restrictions in the areas and times they are shown to spawn. We tag striped marlin on Pilar because sport fishermen started doing it for science decades ago, and we hope to continue placing as many tags as we can if it will help conserve the mysterious striped marlin. Everybody that wants to get involved and help with our tagging, you can now go to the website and contribute. And for every contribution, we'll put a tag up for you. We'll put a sticker on the back of the boat. We'll tell a story uh, about each fight and uh, how it was different. We'll, we'll mention your name. we show that you're the ones that help with the effort. Here's where we started so far. Help us fill this whole bulkhead here, back here. Fill this all up with these uh, striped marlin stickers.